Hi parents, I hope you're staying healthy and safe with your families. It does look like it's going to be a while before everything gets back to the way it was. There is not much that you can do about the situation outside your homes, but you can control what happens in your house. Today I'd like to share with you some essential strategies on how to cope with your children at home. Now, the first strategy is washing hands. I hope washing hands is no longer an option in your house. Now, if you're having trouble with your children, you know, to get them to wash their hands, then I suggest that you explain to them why we need to wash our hands frequently. Once children understand why we need to do something, then they are more likely to follow. We've created a video on a little experiment that you can do with your children. And this will clearly explain to them once you do that experiment, you know, the reason why we need to wash our hands. So I'm going to leave the link to this video below uh, at the description. So you can, or you can just, uh, you know, type this out in your browser and you will be able to see the, the video, yeah? If, if you're having difficulty in getting your children to wash their hands also, uh, you can make it more interesting for them. Uh, maybe blow some bubbles to get that 20 seconds in, maybe sing a song, maybe dance together while washing hands, anything, just make it fun. If it comes as an order, then they are less likely to want to do it, yeah? Strategy number two is, I suggest that you set a schedule and some kind of routine in your family. Um, now, the way to do this is you sit together with your entire family and you do, and even if you have like teenagers and younger children, everybody should be involved. So what happens is once you set a schedule, everyone will know what to expect from each other and what to do. And children thrive on these schedules and routines. They like to know what is um, what to expect and what's going to happen next. Yeah. So once you have this, then your lives at home will be easier. And if you're working from home, then your children will also know when you're working and when you're not. And when you're working, they will be less demanding of you during that time. Your schedule can look something like this. Now, you don't have to follow this because this is just an example. You know, wake up before a certain time. It's okay to sleep in a little bit, but not to wake up too late. Yeah. So you can wake up before a certain time, then have some time for exercise, have some time for academics or no electronic time. Do some creative um, uh, things together in the family. Cooking is great. It provides a great learning opportunities for children and, you know, and they really become, they really feel good about it because they become a contributing member in the family. Children like to know when they can help. Yeah, so make them feel useful around the house. Uh, get them to do chores with you and do it in a nice way. Don't order them around. Just uh, do it in a nice way. Tell everybody has to have responsibilities and this is what we can do together. Have some quiet time. It's important for you and for them. And then, you know, have some TV time as well. But make sure that they're watching the right things on TV, maybe educational shows. Be mindful of exercises. If you can't go outside, it's very, very important that you have some exercise time indoors. And then again, you can prepare for dinner, wash up and all that stuff. And then go to bed at a certain time every night, the whole family. So the next day you can again get up with the same, uh, with the same schedule. It'll keep you sane and it'll get everybody like I mentioned it'll get everybody to know what to expect yeah from each other when you have a routine when you know your schedule it's it's good for everybody once you have a schedule then meet up every morning and discuss the routine for the day and this may be done in the morning as a breakfast conversation and you can talk about any particular activities that they're going to do together uh, be a little flexible let everybody have their say you know, maybe you can have turns into who's going to set the routine for the day, what we're going to do, etc. So that brings some excitement in the family. My strategy number three is look at all this positively. One way to look at it positively is just think your little ones are safe with indoors with you. And this is a great time for bonding. So like I said, there's not much you can do 
I mean, what happens outside is out of your control, but inside at least you have your family with you and you can do things with them together. Now, this is a great time for bonding. So indoors, you can do things together like making your beds, setting tables, tidying up the house, preparing meals. Like I mentioned, it is very good to do, you know, uh, to prepare meals together and eat together. You've heard the saying, families that eat together stays together. So that is really, really uh, true. And this is a great opportunity to also pray together and read together. Now, reading is a great indoor activity. Research shows that reading with your child at least 10 minutes a day will help to improve their literacy development significantly. So you have a lot of time now. Give them 30 minutes a day for this. That's what I, I would suggest. Exercise as a family. Like I mentioned before, if you can't go outdoors to exercise, do it at home or even just dance together, turn on the music and, you know, everybody dance, go a little silly, go a little crazy. It's so much fun. There will be laughter and there will be smiles. Yeah. Now, look out for anxiety signs. I'm going to share with you some signs of anxiety that you should look out for your children and what you can do about them. When children are anxious, then the anxiety shows up in different ways. And here are some of them, bedwetting, constipation, clinginess, even though you're more with them, you are with them more now at home, they still show more clinginess than usual, crankiness, misbehaving, not listening to you, more tantrums than usual. If you see these signs in your children, then you know for sure that they are anxious. Now, children are anxious when they when you are anxious so basically it is because of your anxiety that they are anxious they're picking it up see so the first thing that you need to do is to look after your anxiety um, you know have some coping strategies I know there's a lot in the media and you know we're being bombarded with a lot of whatsapp uh, news that is horrific and yes, everybody is anxious, even all of us are anxious, and we, we are so uncertain about what's going to happen next. However, we have to find ways to cope up with our anxiety. You know, maybe do some meditation, maybe listen to some positive podcast, maybe limit your TV and WhatsApp time and uh, things like that. So once you have taken care of your anxiety, then you will be more able to look after your children's anxiety. Explain to your children about what is happening. Now, they're picking up on your anxiety and they're listening to all these things that's happening. And very often as parents, we don't realize our children are around or we discuss things like as if they are not in the room with us. And even though they don't understand what you say sometimes, they pick up on your tone, your way of express, expressing, and they pick up on everything else. So they need to know what's happening without... But of course, here you'll have to be very careful about what you tell them and don't, you know, put up any horrific images or scenarios in their minds. And tell them that it's all temporary, it will all pass, and we are just you know, at home because we need to look after ourselves. Listen and observe to them at play to find out what's happening. Um, when you let children play, have a free play kind of, you know, with your toys and stuff, and you sit back and you observe, then you are more likely to be able to find out what exactly is bothering them because they tend to express themselves through play, yeah? And you'll be able to know what exactly is causing the anxiety. And once you know that, then you'll be able to start up a conversation with them about it. And that will help. Now, don't watch the news in front of them or any forwards on WhatsApp. Leave that for when they're not around, when they're having their quiet time or whatever. When they're around, just, just be with them. Yeah, or do the things. Stick to your schedule. That will keep you sane. Give them more attention and play with them, okay? They're at home doesn't mean that you just put them in a corner, let them play with their toys all day. You have to give them a little bit more attention and play more with them. It's good for you as well. 
when they are drowsy, once they're drowsy in the evening, don't wait till they fall asleep in your arms. Take them to their bed, read them their favorite books, and then let them uh, fall asleep that way. And, uh, you know, once you've read them their favorite books before bedtime, when they go to sleep, they will dream of nice things. And, of course, before bed, assure it's, uh, you know, always assure them that everything will be okay and this is all temporary and all that stuff. They need a lot of assurance from you, yeah? Now, consider staying at home with your family as the new normal because there's so much uncertainty at the moment and we really don't know, you know, when life is going to go back to the normal thing, you know? So make the most of your time with them and... Uh, like I said, the schedule will help you and just consider this as a new normal for some time. Okay, it will all pass. It's just a matter of time. So we have set up a Facebook support group for parents and I will be putting the link below in case you're interested to join us. Feel free to do so. We put up, um, you know, activities and things you can do with the children. Sometimes we come live to answer your questions. And yeah, there are other parents like you who interact and share about what they're doing at home with their children. So if you'd like to join us, feel free to do so. In the meantime, stay home and stay safe. Bye for now.